Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the power series. Today we will discuss what is the power series and how you can find the radius of convergence. Myself, Dr. Gurth, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. You can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harishkar, where you can find the various videos on the topic power series as well as real analysis. So for, first of all, what is the power series? A power series is an infinite series about this center x is equal to c is of the form. It means if you write any of the series in the form of the x minus c, that is called as the power series. Where ai's are the called as the real coefficients and this c is called as center of the series. If you consider c as a 0, then we, can, we call as the power series about x is equal to 0, like a0, a1 and so on. This power series is widely used in mathematics field which is applicable in the Taylor series that we will discuss later on. The important property of this Taylor series is it has infinitely differentiable functions. Apart from them, it is power series is widely used in the computerious, electronic, engineering, number theory, complex analysis and so on. In computerious, we have used the generating functions. Electronics engineering, we have used the power series with the name of the jet transform. In the number theory, we will use in the terms of the periodic number. If you are talking about the complex number, then we are talking about, then the power series is used in the form of the Lorentz series. Another major feature of this power series is that if you consider any of the polynomial, for example here, then you can express this in terms of the power series. For example, if you want to express this power series in terms of x is equal to 0, in about x is equal to a and x is equal to 2. What is the meaning of the x is equal to 1? It means your target is to change this everywhere x is written as of this form x minus 1 plus and so on. So your target is to find the coefficient of this. So which is very easily you can find it in this manner. Now the question arises is how I can found this kind of the series in so quick manner. The, for this you need to know about the Taylor series expansion and this is the expansion for this. What is the meaning for example if you are talking about here if you find the function Taylor series uh, power series about the x equal to 0 it means c is my 0. So the first case is f of 0. What is f of 0? 5. So you can say here. Next one is the first derivative. What is the first derivative of this function? 2x minus 2 and at the point c 0 it will be my minus of 2. What is the second derivative is my 2 at the point c at the point c 0 it is 2 divided by 2 factorial so what is that 2 upon 2 factorial is nothing but my 1 so you can say 1 and all others are my 0 similarly if you're talking about x is equal to 1 so what is that derivative what is the value of the f of 1 so you can say 1 minus 2 plus 5 is plus 4 what is the derivative of 1 is my 2 minus 2 0 what is the second derivative at the 1 is my 2 so it's divided by 1 factorial divided by 2 factorial you can see the values are 0 1 and so on. similarly for here we will see the expansion of this is later on in our continuous series lectures apart from this Taylor series there are many other examples of the power series which we have used in our lower classes for example geometric series you all know that this is a geometric series which can be written in the terms of x raised to power n clearly says that it is 1 and the center is my 0. We all know the exponential series again this is the power series sine function sine series again the power series which is about which is what is that it is about the x0 because x is my here again it is about the x0 this is again x0 similarly you can write the tan x cosine and so on. The major advantages or the speciality of this power series is it converges absolutely either for all the values of the x for example here or it converges only at the center in this case the center is my 0 so that's a 0 otherwise if you consider the power series is my x minus c raised to power n then it converges to the point c or otherwise instead of this is the only point it's a single point or otherwise we can find some interval say this is minus r 2 plus r this r is called as radius of convergence or it may be happen that the end point at this end point the series may or may not be converging. We will see this in this lecture too. What is the radius of convergence? So if you have the power series which is convergent over minus r to plus r, 
then any of the number in which the series is convergent so this is my convergent part so you have to find a real number or any number r such that the power series is convergent and outside that that is of this portion the series is my divergent the power series may or may not be converges at this boundary points now in order to define this boundary we will define called as the interval of convergence what is the meaning of the interval of convergence we can find all those values of the x for all those values of the x including the endpoints if required at which the series is convergent can you find the value of the x from here i can write this value of this now can you find the value of the x from here you can see c minus r and this is c plus r so what is the meaning of that it means you can find the interval of c minus r to c plus r there are these are the values for which series is convergent and similarly if you write this these are my divergent the radius of convergence or the second definition is the radius of convergence is nothing but half the length of the interval or all of you know that if your interval is my here then what is the length so you can say the length is my b minus a so in this case what is the length c plus r minus c minus minus plus r so you can see it is my 2r so the length is my 2r so what is the value of the r r is my half of the length of the convergence that is if r is my radius of convergence then you can find the interval of convergence is c minus r c plus r where c is my center of the power series how you can find the radius of convergence that we will use the cauchy hamburg's formula that's a very simple if you have the power series of this form then you can find by using either of the formula you can see this formula is similar to this root formula and this is nothing but my ratio form remember it is my n if instead of this n if your power series be like of 2n plus 1 power series be like of 2n plus 4 and so on that is of the beta and gamma then the powers then the radius of convergence is nothing but 1 divided by the coefficient of the n if you find the value of the r is 0 it means is series converges only at the center that's c if you find r is infinity what is the meaning of r is infinity that means this is here so what is the interval of this from minus infinity to plus infinity that's a complete real line if r is 0 then what is the meaning of that that is x minus c is less than 0 what is the meaning of that that is only possible about x is equal to c what is the summary of that you have, for this power series the interval of convergence will be x minus c less than r divergence is the opposite radius is my r whatever you have written here this is my r and this is my set if you write this for here you all knows we can start from this this is my radius of convergence or else you can start from here find the value of this then this is my radius of convergence and this is my center of convergence center of the power series if you find the power series converges for some point then it converges absolutely for all those less than if you find a divergence then it is a also divergent for here now how you can solve this problem how you can find the radius of convergence center and interval we will discuss the two step rule firstly we will find this root and the ratio and then find the rs reciprocal of this and then we can substitute this value here we will get this we will solve 17 examples in this lecture so that you can learn in a simple manner look at this one so if you compare this firstly series with x minus c raised to power n remember this is the x minus c of this so this forget about this what is my a n minus 1 raised to power r here now since either you can apply this rule or you can apply this rule that's on depending upon your side that is absolute value now here this is the power of n whenever this is the power of the n whenever there is a power of n you and prefer over this formula whenever there is a factorial of n you can apply this formula now this is the power of n so our target is to compute this r here we can find the value of this what is the limit of n approaches infinity n raised to power n we all know it's a one so this value is my 1 square minus is a mod value so the answer is my 
1 by 5. You can substitute here. R is my 5. Therefore, therefore, what is the x is my 3x minus 2 is less than of R. You can find the value of the x from here. You can take 3 as a common. It can be written as 5 over 3, which is a required interval of convergence. So this is the answer of this. What is the R? How you can find the radius of convergence? Whatever it is come here, that is called as the radius of convergence. Whatever come here is called as the power of the center of the power series. Now we will solve the same, same kind of the examples in throughout P. So if you compare them again, if you compare them, what is my A n? A n is my 1 upon 10 raised to power n. Again, this is the power of the n. We can apply again for this formula. So what is the power of this 10? What is the limit is 1 over 10. So if you substitute here, the answer is my 10. Now, therefore, the power series is now in this case, this is only x minus 2, which is the required interval of because the coefficient of x must be 1. What is the radius of convergence? This is my radius of convergence. This is my radius of convergence and this is my center of the power series. Look about this one again. Now, if you compare them with a n x minus c raised to power n. So, what is the a n? a n is 1 upon n factorial. Now, here is a factorial. So, we can apply this formula. What is the limit of the a n plus 1? So, what is that? This is limit and approaches infinity 1 over n plus 1 which goes to the 0. So, once this value is 0, so the reciprocal will be infinity. Therefore, now you can see that this is my x square. So, you can write here as a x square less than g, less than of r. Can you find the value of the mode of x from here? This is infinity of half is infinity. Now, clearly say that this is the interval of convergence. So, what is the meaning of that? If you look about that, it means here that is my complete real line. So, that is power series converges for all x. What is the radius of convergence? So, whatever it is here, this is my radius of convergence. Center is, you can write this number as x minus 0 is here. So, this is my center of the series. Look about this one. Again, we can take a n is 1 over this. Now, again, it's a power of this, but this is not the power. We can apply this form. So, we can solve here. You can see this will, will, will half is cancel out. So, you can take the limit. You will get as a half is the answer. Substitute value, you will get r is 2. Therefore, now in this case, this is my polynomial. So, you can say 2x plus 1 is less than of 2. My target is to make the coefficient of the x to be 1. So, it is of 1. So, this is the interval of convergence. So, what is the radius? So, what is the radius of convergence is my 1. What is the center? If you compare them, x minus c is less than r. What is the c? c is nothing but my minus half. Because your target is to compare them in terms of x minus c is less than half. Look about again this one. So if you, this is the polynomial of the x. So you can skip this one. So a n is my here. So you can start with any of them, either of this or for this. Now what is that? You can take them as a 3 by 2 common. So I can return as 1 by n. So what is the limit of this? So clearly say that this goes to the 0. So this is my 1. So I can substitute. It's a 1 over 1 is again 1. Therefore, how you can find the interval of convergence? So 4x minus 3. Now it's a power of 2 also. So 4x minus 3 is less than of 1. Your target is to find the value of x minus c. So I can write this number as root of 1 is 1. I can divide it by 4 on the both side. You will get this number as here. So this is my radius of convergence. This is my radius of convergence r. This is my center of center of the power series is here. And this is my interval of convergence. Or you may solve like this way. You can find the proper value of the x of this. So you can solve them. It's a 1x of 6 by 4. Look about this one. So again, apart from this, what is the a n is here? You can uh, start from this. You can take the absolute value of this. You will get here. Divided both sides by n square. You will get 3 over n square and so on here. 
take n approaches infinity this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 so it will be 1 upon 1 plus 0 so it is my 1 now here it is only x so you can say this is my interval of convergence what is the radius is it is 1 if you compare them with x minus c of less than r c is my g look at this one what is the an is this is my an and upon this so we can start from here we can take this now you can pair them 4n will be cancelled out so it's 1 by 4 is outside limit n approaches infinity n plus 1 and n i can return like this way and n square plus 1 over n plus 1 whole square plus 1 now you can divide it this by n and this by n square you will get here clearly say that this goes to the 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 as n approaches infinite so this is my 4 hence interval of convergence because this is only x raised to power n so it is my here what is the radius of convergence is 1 center is my 0 for this power series find the radius of convergence and this you can see here an is my this case you can start from again because this is the power of this again we can use the limit and approaches infinity this value is my 1 so this is my 1 so it's a 1 over 3 is my here again this is my only x so we can write like of this radius is my 3 center is my 0 look about this another example how I can find that I can firstly expand in this form now this is my a n so this is the power of n you can start from here you will get r as a 2 so what is that this is my x raised to power n so mod of x is less than of half so radius is my half center is 0 in this case this is my a n so you can start from here we can start with the a n plus 1 over a n so you can see this will be cancelled out it is my minus of 2 n plus 2 over n plus 1 so if you take the modulus value limit n approaches infinity the answer is my 2 so radius is my half now from this case you can say x minus half is less than of 1 by 2 so the center is sorry this is my x minus 1 this is x minus 1 so the center is my 1 radius is half again this case this is my half so a n is this so what is the a n upon n is n it's an infinity so what is the r r is my zero what is the meaning of this now if you look about that mod of x can never be zero so it is a uh, x is zero because you can if you write this case what is the meaning of that this is means x is zero what is the meaning of the x zero is that is only at the center because this series has the center zero so radius is zero center is 0 interval of convergence is itself a 0 if you compare this one a n is my here because this is nth power so what is the a of this this is a half so r is my 2 therefore now in this case you can see the power is my 2 n so x minus root 2 square is less than of r so what is the r, r is firstly we can take them as a power 1 so it is my root 2 so now the radius of convergence is my here make sure this is not the radius of convergence this is my radius of convergence center is 0 this is the interval of convergence you can open them you will get this number as 2 root 2 look at the last examples are there so again this is my a n if you start from this this is my 0 infinity and then then this will be my here so since this is x minus 4 since r is my 0 it means it converges only at the center so you can see x is 4 it, it means itself that this is x is equal to 4 is my interval of the convergence radius is my 0 center is my 4 in this case again your target is this is my a n if you take this limit you will get as 3 and 0 these are some exercises for you. You can try to do is all these five examples. These are the answers. 
some more examples another five questions you can try to uh, solve it and let me know whether you will get the right answers as mentioned here we will see in our next lecture related to the absolute and the conditional convergence of the power series till then you can simply like share and comment my these videos best of luck students happy learning